This is Philly Drone Tech with Tom Brunt. Sponsorship provided by AWeber.com, GetFlywheel.com, and Wistia.com. Hello folks, welcome to another edition of Philly Drone Tech here on uh, the phillytech.org netcast network. I'm Tom Brunt and tis the season, so season's greetings to you all. As you can see here, I've uh, got um, Humpty D, my uh, big drone, all in the uh, Christmas spirit. And uh, actually, he's going to be uh, helping Santa deliver uh, toys this year. Um, forget uh, Amazon, forget uh, UPS. Uh, Santa is going to be the first to outsource delivery via drone. So now that that's uh, now that that, uh, that little joke is out of the way, uh, let's uh, get started on uh, this episode. Um, first thing I have for you is uh, the FAA. Uh, there's a bunch of things going on uh, that I've been reading about the FAA. Uh, supposedly, they are getting set to uh, offer a proposal for um, uh, small uh, UAS guidelines, unmanned aerial system. Um, Unfortunately, it's not very good news. Uh, what they actually propose uh, is, first of all, um, flights will be limited to line of sight only, uh, only during the day. And uh, if you wish to operate commercially, uh, you will be required to obtain a full pilot's license. I'll say that again. In order to fly my three and a half pound drone commercially, I will have to be able to prove that I can fly a Cessna. That is actually what they are proposing. Now, the good news is it's only a proposal and it will be up for public input. And let's hope there's lots of public input on it. Um, whoever came up with this at the FAA, I don't think even understands what a quadcopter is. Um, in order to fly one of these, I have to be able to prove that I can fly a full airplane. This would be like saying, um, in order for you to ride a bicycle, you have to prove that you can drive a car. Um, that's basically what that's saying. The, will this hamper you know, any commercial use? Absolutely. Uh, even the rule about uh, line of sight only. Forget search and rescue operations if you have to operate line of sight. They need to come up with different rules for the hobbyists and the professional sector. Um, also by weight class. Uh, they are um, combining all the rules together for crafts that weigh 55 pounds or less. There's a big difference between a 55 pound fuel powered uh, multi-rotor and this three and a half pound battery operated uh, piece of plastic. So hopefully they are going to be told to go back to the drawing board. Which brings me up to another story that I, uh, I read on, uh, on Forbes. Um, the White House could be getting involved. Um, the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs at the White House is set to review um, policies concerning drones. Now this could be good because unlike the FAA who is only interested in ruling for public safety, they don't care about innovation or economics or anything. The White House has the ability to push back to force guidelines that will still allow for innovation, which is what we sorely need in this country. We are falling severely behind other countries of the world that have already dealt with this uh, successfully. Um, you know, we can't stifle the market uh, before it even has a chance to, um, pardon the pun, take off. So 2015 uh, could be a very interesting year for um, regulation and what will happen. Um, what do I think about it? Well, um, let's see. Um, I believe that commercially you should have a license, but it needs to be applicable to the technology. Again, uh, Flying a three and a half pound piece of plastic with a camera is not like flying a Cessna or 737. So there needs to be a completely different rule set. Uh, should, should, if I want to do commercial use, should I have to have a license? If it's easily obtainable, 
yes, uh, that is fine. Really, the safety problem is, I think they're going to find, is not with the commercial use. It's with the hobbyists, because anybody can afford these. Um, so the guidelines really ought to be more for uh, the hobbyists, because that is where a lot of the recklessness is happening. It's not going to happen in the commercial venture. Uh, people that spend multiple thousands of dollars, and it's their livelihood and their business, are not going to be flying them recklessly in the sky. They're just not. So uh, again, let's see what uh, 2015 has to offer. Um, also, I wanted to uh, tell you that um, because I started this uh, video podcast, I decided to start my own uh, Twitter uh, account. Uh, so um, all sorts of things, drone tech related, uh, everything I talk about on the show and, and other things, all my th random thoughts and all that. Uh, regarding drone tech, so uh, I have my uh, handle on the screen there. You can see, uh, you can contact me at uh, at uh, drone at drone guy Tom. Uh, so hope to see you on there, uh, and uh, we'll be uh, right back, and uh, we'll get into some uh, lighter uh, um, holiday theme stories. Today's show is sponsored by Wistia. Wistia is a video hosting and analytics platform that helps businesses get the most out of online video. We use Wistia here at bullytech.org. Flywheel, a managed WordPress hosting platform built specifically for designers and creative agencies and helps thousands of designers across the world launch projects every day. Aweber is local to the Philly region, helping entrepreneurs, agencies, and small businesses connect with their customers through email marketing. Go to aweber.com slash phillytech to find out more. And by Soho Mail, professional, low-cost email with business class features and security. Okay, now that we got the uh, the news uh, out of the way, uh, let's uh, let's just go on to some. Uh, it is the the holiday episode, so let's just uh, talk about some uh, holiday themed uh, uses for drones. Uh, I have a story for you out of the UK. Uh, TJI Fridays is uh, launching out there a, um, a missile tow via drone. Uh, you see in the commercial here. Uh, they're using what it looks like DJI Phantoms and with the with probably the light bridge camera attachment so they can um, uh, fly the mistletoe over the tables to uh, you know to encourage uh, kissing and romance um, good for them although uh, it's a pretty big drone to be flying around indoors in, uh, in tight areas I hope they have some pretty good pilots working Apparently, TGI Fridays decided to also try this here in the States. They uh, tried it at venues in uh, Brooklyn, Long Island, and Texas. And unfortunately, I had a little bit of a mishap in Brooklyn. Uh, while they were showing it off to uh, reporters of the Brooklyn Daily, the reporter was instructed to allow a 10-inch drone to land in her hand. When she flinched as it was landing, the craft careened off and hit their photographer uh, right in the face, uh, slicing their nose and chin. Um, uh, spokesman for TGI Fridays insisted that uh, other events uh, had no casualties and dismissed concerns about it, even from um, the much larger, what they're using, a 23-inch hexacopter with uncovered propellers, that's no prop guards, indoors, uh, saying the customers will stay clear of the whirling 5-inch blades. The problem is who's to say that the drone will be able to stay away from the customers. Mishaps can happen. Potential for litigation is uh, just phenomenal. The next I have for you is a uh, performance art. Um, folks at KMEL Robotics, uh, who do, among other things, uh, aerial photography and performance art with multi-rotors. Uh, they uh, call themselves multi-rotor musicians. And they did this fantastic performance piece, one of which includes uh, the holiday classic Carol of the Bells, all performed by multi-rotors.
Well, that's all I have for you for this edition, uh, the holiday edition. Uh, I hope you uh, hope you get what you uh, what you wish for for the holidays, and uh, have a very happy holiday. And if you want to get in touch with me, again, I have a new Twitter account at uh, Drone Guy Tom, or uh, you can contact me at Drone Guy at Tebweb dot com, uh, T E B W E B dot com. Uh, have a very happy holidays, and I'll see you next time.